come in here to update uh, to update each of the widgets. Um, instead of coming here to update widgets in the code view and adding, um, let's say I want to embed widgets now. Instead of embedding widgets from here, I could um, instead of freaking my widgets from here. If uh, let's say I want to use menu. Um, let's say I want to use menu. Um, where is the menu now? Um, okay, this is where you have the menu and stuff. Let's say I want to embed menu. I'll have to come here and say menu. menu and stuff but in this um, in this new whatever if I want to embed menu here all I need to do is initiate my own widgets um, widgets and I will um, I'll give it my code the normal code I would use in um, option name URL the normal code I would use in the usual embedding of widgets and I'm going to use parameters how do I use parameters equals I use single quotes here so that I can pass my JSON text inside inside the JSON text I use class this way I pass the class name Pass the class name as Ayola menu. Okay. And I would have embedded my menu here like this. Instead of selecting menu here and uh, putting it inside the code, blah, blah, blah. I don't need to do that. So I can just close this. And with this, with what I just did now, my menu should be set with what I just did now. My menu should be set now. Let's check it out. And the alternative way of setting my menu would be, let's say I want to add, let's add a, an account or which menu can we add now? Let's put up a blog submenu here. So I'm going to let me just copy this. Recent posts, and I'm going to put one here. A submenu for I'm using the same syntax, and um, I'll pass a another parameter call it um, menu name would be blog okay now you see this is working my, my menu has already been uh, been added so I can add options like like I should um, now for the one I just added this one menu block it would have been added now and um yes yeah, so that's adding with this i've added my menu easy very easy then i'm um, coming down to the footer section Coming down to the footer section, yeah, I can change my logo to img logo.png and I'll put my style to um, max height, max height could be 60 pixels, 
and uh, alt I can leave it also as organization name so I can use all my static test in here as well so here you see I can easily set up a new menu here on the blog it's done so setting my footer section I would um, set this one to uh, footer title like this one let's put um, let's put static test here replaceable text where are you yeah so let's use the short about description shots about description will stay here then the phone number a static test for phone number would come here I don't need this now the email address let's copy the static test for email address would be here and useful links where are the useful links now the address okay where are the address okay city where you have new york then um my address street address everything i put everything here the comma can put the comma city state country full stop and another one um, so this the person who would use this theme would had a second address here if they want but for now I'm going to put the space there Instagram feed so reloading this this is the instagram feed uh, section i can allow it to show my uh, my posts instead i'm not going to work on creating instagram feed here so let's embed post here easily i could um i'm just going to use my widgets widgets So easily embedding widget just means I put my widget tag inside and um, yeah let's use another thing to embed our parameters instead of using attributes I could just use script and um, src equals oh no um, type equals application slash json and inside would just be my direct parameters uh, my direct json where i can say class class is um application article show all and um had a new post would be um think how many posts that we had in there you can see how everything is sorted my about section the logo the phone number the email now this is six so i had six here basically standard json text so um so basically everything in your parameter is the stuff you used to had you used to uh, the stuff you used to had the par uh the, the stuff you used to had here the stuff you used to had here becomes your parameters the stuff you used to have here everything you have you used to have here you can put it in your parameters 
and you set it here directly instead of having to come in instead of having to come on this panel to set your parameters and everything you can put everything in your code so i am going to use this as my url i'm going to use this so i would say um embed image url equals document url uri and um, it's going to post link okay so this in essence i'm saying show this picture but use the dimension of this one so i want to use the dimension of the one on the site like i want to use i want this picture to be cropped into this size that's exactly what this syntax means so by doing this my widget would have been embedded for me automatically now i need to change this one from instagram feed to recent posts posts so this is going to be like pictures of recent posts we'll show here instead of instagram feeds okay so then i need to change this static test facebook and, and so on and so forth all right so i need to change um copyrights let me change organization name here organization name yeah so by color live good but then powered by page cutting page cutting.org so let me put this static test twitter and so on and so forth okay let's find out if this is working oh we just parameter not valid json format okay let's find out what's wrong with our json okay this comma at the end json doesn't like it so that may be the problem let's reload now here i need to look for the standard replaceable test for facebook facebook um where is facebook yeah facebook is here and twitter is here and in youtube um youtube um okay youtube instagram yeah instagram Okay, so now we have everything set um, in the footer and header and footer part. Basically, right, that is all you have. Uh, this should work now. All right. Had a new post six. Did I put five? Um, something is wrong. Oh, add a new post, not posts. It's six. Then now we'll find out powered by page carton. Let's put a full stop here or an iPhone. Then what else? So basically, in this template raw, you're going to is equivalent to you editing this file clicking here to edit this file to edit the, the the theme file so i am ignoring i'm only working on this header and i'm ignoring all this other content i'm only editing things in the header and the footer and basically every other content that would come from here that will come here which is my header and my footer you see as i'm editing that is also changing here as well 
Um, that is the beauty of the whole thing. So, um, having, uh, mind you, right? Everything I'm editing is coming here. So you see the widget is also, that means you can use your widget. Um, you can use the widget, uh, syntax here as well. You can use it here. Uh, but it's meant for you to be it's meant to be used inside directly code here but it's also can be used from here so um checking out our code our menu is working this one to menu working and coming down here this recent post is showing fine and our uh, um address static tests showing fine it's also showing fine here so um that means we've done a great great job we've done a great great job here so 